What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Insidious Fitness. Ah, tooth pain. Let's not talk about that. Let's just say that my tooth is still hurting like a ma madman. That's what I was saying. I literally need to leave like now. I've got like 11 minutes until my train comes. Slept like shit. Absolute sh rubbish. It was bad. Pure rubbish. Rubbish shit. Rubbish shit sleep. Got oats, yogurt, bit of cinnamon up in this bowl. We gotta go. We gotta go. Weather is booming today. So we got a couple guys here that want to say hi to you. Say hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I've actually got asked this quite a lot. Whenever I have the camera, I always get asked. YouTuber, bro. YouTuber. Let's say aspiring fitness YouTuber. We're trying to document my journey and share it with him, wouldn't it? That's the ultimate goal. As you can see today, we're at the train station, catching train today. My little brother's got a football match. So my, the middle brother, you got me, you got the middle one, and then you got the little one. The middle one took the little one <laughs> to his game, catching train. Probably give me some time to actually catch up with some reading. Ooh, don't show them the guns like that, Musa. Oh, don't like that. Hi guys, it's your boy Musa Los Fitness. Today we have a special guest. Hi, my name is Aida. I'm a personal trainer here at Sporting Health Club in Copenhagen. So, Aida, what's your nickname? Tell them your nickname. <laughs> Tell them your nickname. So, they call me the Booty Guru. Booty Guru, so you know what that means. You she know gonna, what that means. She's going to be putting me for them <laughs> That booty workout. That booty workout, them kickbacks and all sorts. And she also got some bands. Do you want to show them some of your products? Booty workout. Nice. Resistance bands. Cheese. You see? This is what we're going to be working with today. Oh my god. Are you uh, ready for this? Uh, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready one bit. But you know this, I got this, I got this. Beginning of something different, you know? Normally you guys should see my face on the channel. Now you start seeing different faces as well, which is cool. <laughs> let's, let's, let's get into this. Yeah. Yeah? Let's, let's get do it. this. Let's, let's get it. One, two. Jump. Also go down. Okay. So one, two. two. What is the best oh. exercise to build lower pectoral muscles? This is not my area. Okay, it's not so your you area. you can take this. Okay, I'll take this one. Lower pectoral muscle, you want to do exercises that are in a decline. What's your decline bench? Incline and decline. Yeah. This is incline yeah. bench. <laughs> when you lay down, yeah. decline, you lay up. Oh, yeah, that's it. Dips is a great exercise for your lower pectoral muscle. Tilt forward when you're doing the dip. If you up straight with the chest up, that's more tricep. Cable flies, that's the main three that I would say. I know. Let's go, Musa, you got this. Next question. <laughs> Is it true that black people just have to walk by a dumbbell to get fit? <laughs> Maybe you should ask that. Okay, I'll answer that one too. <laughs> Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I, I wish it, I wish it was that easy, but it really isn't. You have to put in the work, you know, in anything you want. Um, of course, genetics does play a part yeah. in uh, the way you look overall. Uh, underdeveloped muscle is an underdeveloped muscle, regardless of the genetics. Um, you still have to put in the work to develop and the muscle. You gotta eat right. You gotta eat right, you and can't you can't build muscles without food. You yeah. need food. Food is your. Yeah. If you look at food as a fuel, you know, like a car needs. That, that gas to exactly. drive is the same with your body as well. Your body needs food in order to be able to break down the muscle fibers, recover, and then boom, build new muscle. You yeah. know, that, that's, that's the way it is. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, Asian, you know, regardless of your genetics, if you don't put in the work and don't eat right and sleep well, you're not gonna grow. It's just, it's really that simple. Yeah, you know? and recovery. Recovery. It's all, I can vouch for this because when I was in uni, my final year of uni, um, year three, 
I, I was not sleeping at all. And that was the year I put on the most weight. It was crazy, because I was on like- In bad weight. Bad weight. Yeah, like I was on way. energy drinks and you know, snacking while you're doing your uni work. Yeah. And you ain't, I wasn't sleeping like four days in a row. My weight just kept on going up quick. Come Oops. On your knees. <laughs> what the hell? Come on, man. There you go. Where, around here? Right there, perfect. If you don't sleep and actually let your body do its maintenance work while you're sleeping, you're just gonna put on body excess body fat and a lot of snacking because you're, yeah. you're, not, you're not sleeping. <laughs> so yeah, recovery, very important. Next question. Okay, I have a high metabolism. I eat three to five times a day and still gain no weight. That's a, that's a good question. So well, well, he's basically asking me, what should, what should he do? To gain so, weight, he to wants to I'm guessing he wants to gain weight because he's saying he's eating three to five times. He has a high metabolism. Um, I already have an answer for this. It's very simple, but go on, you do. You answer this one first. What are you thinking? My question to you is: Do you count your calories? Because you can eat three to five times, but it's not enough calories because because of what you eat. That's it, exactly. And do you eat enough protein? Thank you. Yep. I know people like that. You have to drink wainers and protein yeah, shakes. Yes, okay, protein Even weight. if you like it or not, you have to. And you have to eat all the time. All the time. So you need to count like how much do you exercise yeah. and like your daily your movement routines, and all that. Exactly. Like, your movement during during the day. How much do you burn? That's I guess it. you burn a lot, so you have to eat like crazy. Like crazy. You literally have to eat like crazy. Because he can be saying, I eat a lot, but what, what is a lot? You know, literally, yeah. what is a lot for your body? Because you can say, I eat a lot compared to like your friends and whatnot, but, but, you burn but, you're, but you're burning way more. You're like, you're probably doing sports in school. You probably walk to school, you know, you're like yeah. riding your bike or something, you know, you probably move more than your friends. Probably yeah. at home playing PlayStation all the time while you're out, you know, playing out with your friends. It, it depends on you, you have literally... Everything counts. Everything counts. So uh, you probably sleep way more than them as well, you know, like you recover better. Um, so definitely I would say track your macros for like a week just to see overall how much you're eating. Good job. You good? And talk to a nutritionist. If yeah. you don't know, definitely. ask somebody. Ask somebody and... Yeah. I, I, my easy answer is you need to eat more. That's literally it. Yeah. You do need to eat more because yeah. high metabolism plus eating five times a day and you're and you're not gaining weight. You're not eating enough. It's you have just, to eat more. Have to eat more. You know, and uh, obviously there's easy ways to add calories to your food, especially when it comes to like fat. Um, fat. One one gram of fat is nine calories, whereas carbs and protein is four. So like using good fats. I'm not saying just use shitty fat, you know, fried food and no. Use no, things no. like coconut oil. You know, cook your food nuts. with coconut oil instead. Nuts. Um, avocado. Avocado, yeah, avocado is like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's the shit. Um, so if you're like making shakes and whatnot, pour, pour avocado in that shake. And peanut butter. Peanut butter, yeah. you know, there's so many good fats so out there um, that literally could just add calories without you really yeah. feeling it, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. peanut butter, if you're making toast with jam on it, Pop the peanut butter on there. Yeah. You're gonna add an extra like 60, 70, 80 calories on your food, you know, Easy. without you knowing. And um, yeah. so yeah, fats is a good option, but healthy fats. Remember that one. Yeah. I, was, I like that question. That was a good one. Yeah. I'm in bliss. I'm in bliss. Hey, my booty signaling here. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, now she's about to show you the way you're supposed to do. I was, I was struggling. I'm not gonna lie. Keeping that sweat position and keeping your legs wide as well. Hard. I feel my knees like wanting to buckle in and I was like, nope, keep it out. <laughs> How many calories do you eat in a day? Well, right now I'm cutting. I'm, I'm pretty low right now, like I was mentioning to you before. If I don't go to the gym, I'm very non-active. I'm literally sitting in my seat. I don't move that much. When I'm cutting, I have to reduce my calories quite a bit. Obviously how big I am, a lot of people are like, whoa, that's quite low calories. But when I tell them my movement's not much, then they understand what I mean. Or if you want yeah. to eat more, then you have to add cardio. To That's it. Workout. Add, add cardio as well. Exactly. And me, I love food. You know, I, 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 I like to eat. You know, I like a good man protein. I would rather do extra cardio and eat more food than eat less and not have to do cardio. If that makes sense. So it is what the I, same. What, what it's doing? related to the, the, the previous uh, question. Previous question. Exactly. Everything is about plus and minus. Plus and minus. How exactly. many calories you burn and how many calories you eat. You eat exactly. So if so, you're eating a lot of calories, then you're gonna have to implement cardio as a tool. Yeah. Don't overdo it. A lot of people abuse cardio. They're thinking, oh, I had an ice cream yesterday. Let me just go do cardio. No. <laughs> 
and no. it's <laughs> different for everyone. Yeah. Like if I say I eat 1500 calories yeah. and Musa eats 2500, it. It, doesn't, it doesn't mean that it's going to be good for you. That's it. Like you know? Every person different. has a different activity level it's and, exactly, and no, metabolism. metabolism. So she just said tricep, tricep. I said, hell no, ain't no brother doing no tricep. <laughs> but intermittent fasting as well is another thing that you can use as a tool to help you out. If you know that you're one of them ones, you, you eat recklessly, you know, you can't really control your eating. I would suggest something like intermittent fasting. So you have like a window where you eat, so that way yeah. you can't really go overboard, you know what I mean? Whereas if you just like have the whole day eat, you wake up, big breakfast, big lunch, big dinner, nice. like nice. snacking all the time, you know? Um, the thing that people don't really understand, every time you eat, you spike your insulin levels. Your insulin levels go up. And every time your insulin level goes up, fat burning stops. It doesn't happen. Yeah. So that's why snacking is not the greatest thing to do. If I was you, I'd rather keep your meals like whole, like have a meal. Yeah. If you're gonna snack with it, make sure you eat the snack and the meal at the same time. I'd rather have you do that than eat a meal and then an hour later eat a snack. Yeah. No, no. You're, you're all of it one break. time, you know? Yeah. Do it all in once. Uh, Oh, shit. I'm dead. Oh, yeah, man. I'm dead. Ah. A, a good weighted ab exercise. I have 10 to 12 percent body fat, and which is very low. That's 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 low. You know, the average is around. I don't know, average human, but 20 percent. Yeah, 20 percent body fat. You still look fairly decent at 20 percent. What are you thinking? <clears throat> <laughs> it's a tough one, right? It's one, we haven't one. seen the person, so we don't really know what they look like. Yeah. Uh, basically, what I'm thinking is if you're 10 to 12 percent body fat and your abs are not showing, it's, it's, it's confusing. For me, it's very confusing. Yeah. I think, yeah, it's, it's a bit confusing, but it's, I think it's genetics. Yeah. Because it, yeah. if you are a person who works out and you have a low body fat like that, your abs should, should pop. show. Yeah, they should. should pop naturally. R regardless. Like, like, People who have around 20%, you can still, still see, see their abs. It's, it's, a bit, uh, it's a confusing one. For so if you don't have abs, at, at 10 to 12%, and you say you are doing exercises, and yeah. your body fat is so low, you, then you need you, to work on your abs more. Yeah, you can't yeah. change it. Yeah, you just need to work on your abs more. Yeah. Um, maybe you're not going heavy enough in the gym as well, you know? You can say that you train abs, but are you adding like weighted, weighted like ab exercises? Um, instead of just... Yeah, the thing and what are, do you eat? Yeah, what do you eat as well? Like if you're eating bad fats and stuff, stuff like, and you saturate your, you, you like, uh, exactly. you build your fat around your belly area, belly area, then it is hard. It's hard. Um, and also if you're one of them people that, because this is the thing, when it comes to losing body fat, you can't pick and choose. You can't say, okay, yeah. I want it to go for my stomach first and then my face. No. Um, so literally you could be, your, you could be holding your last body, body fat on your stomach. It could yeah, be that. Exactly. Um, that's that last scenario I'm thinking, you know, that you've dropped your weight so much, um, that the fat is just still on you, just on your belly area. Yeah, or um, maybe you drop weight in, too, the, in, yeah. in the wrong way. In the wrong way. Maybe yeah. some people who only do cardio, yeah. they can drop weight and fat percentage, but they're not building muscle. Muscle, which is exactly, that's, when it comes to bodybuilding and just changing your like overall appearance, don't mistake cardio for weightlifting. Weightlifting, is more beneficial than cardio. That's the, yeah. the normal argument. You burn calories. You burn calories. You burn calories. You know exactly. Just just building muscle alone makes your body work a lot. Yeah. You know, so you'll be burning calories that way. Like whenever someone asks me to make them a training program, it's always focus on the weights. Focus on the weights. Focus on the weights. Because that when people see my transformation, they go to me like, "How do you do it?" You know, I saw you like three, four years ago. You were a big guy. What did you do? And I told them for the first two years of training. I walked past every cardio machine. They're like, what? What do you mean? I was like, I was focused on building, sculpting my body, not awesome. focused on losing the weight. Um, it's all about sacrifice as well, you know? You have to have a clear vision of what you want. Because if you're one of them people, oh, I want to lose weight, but I want to look shredded, it's like, come on, man. You know? I, I, and I want to build muscle, it's like, you can't do both at the same time. It's impossible to, to literally lose body fat and build muscle at the same time, unless you're on some crazy drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, it's very, very difficult to, uh, to accomplish. What do, you, do, you, do you agree? You know, if you want to lose body fat, then lose your body fat. But you, don't, you can't say, let me lose body fat, and, but I want to be looking like The Rock at the same time. It doesn't work. You know, if you're going to try and build muscle, you And have, it takes time. That's it. You got to have right. patience. You, you heard what I just We've said. We've been doing this for years. Yeah, you heard what you I just said. You can't just come to the gym and like, I want to look like you, or I want to look, look like, like this person, or in this six person. Weeks. 
No. When people say six to eight weeks, I look at them like, are you mad? <laughs> that's literally tomorrow. You could just blink yeah. and that's, that's it. No. Like, don't give I up. just you know, I just said three years ago people looked at me and thought, what the hell happened? You know? It it takes time. And and literally years. I was you have to be willing to understand that this is a journey. And battle. Come on, come on, come on. You're not just playing. Like me, I'm, I'm planning to do this for the rest of my life. Me too. You know, I ain't I've been doing this for 10 yeah, plus exactly, years. Exactly, I ain't planning to stop tomorrow, so, you know? You have to make it your lifestyle. You yeah. can't just like, I want to get in shape and stay in shape without continuing going to the gym. That's, that that is literally, right that's the key word there, lifestyle. That's why I don't, I don't like using the word diet. No. I literally, I hate the word diet because people make it seem like, okay, when you say diet, it's literally like a, a small window, you know, like 12, 16 yeah. weeks. Yeah. Lifestyle, you have to think, okay, can I maintain this long term? That's yeah. why when people ask me what diet do I do, when I say I, I do two, I do the keto diet and I do obviously carb, 40% carb, 40% protein, 20% fat, um, which I do when I'm like bulking. I feel like that's the best. You need carbs in order to build muscle, you know, it's just that energy source that you need yeah. in order to, you know, perform in the gym. Whereas keto, you can't, your energy level goes down and also your performance in the gym reduces but it's great for fat loss it's yeah. great for fat loss I, i'm not yeah. gonna lie i can't lie about that it is it works um but again can you sustain it for six months seven months if you can't don't do it <laughs> it's that simple if you can't don't do it because if you try it for uh, eight to twelve weeks and then you rebound you literally wasted eight to twelve weeks because you're gonna put on that body fat like like it, this literally you wake up like yeah. what happened you know what I mean? You just get bloated. Bloated like, is that? What? what happened? All I had was an ice cream yesterday. That's what it takes, fam. Yeah. So um, that's why when people ask me, I'm like, every diet works if you can maintain it long term. Okay. You know, if you can't maintain it long term, don't bother doing it. That's why I don't like seeing all these eight to twelve weeks. Oh, I'll make you look sturdy. It doesn't work like that, man. Are you okay, my friend? No, no. I'm far from okay. Are we still friends? <laughs> Are we still friends? Uh, yeah, we were. <laughs> it literally takes years to transform your body into the ultimate goal. Like someone starting out, a female starting out, wanting to look like you, you know, realistically, um, if they even if they worked every day for the next two years, it still be a very difficult challenge to accomplish. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like me as well. If a, a guy was just literally just starting out, for them to look like me, it will take them a lot of work. A lot of work. Um, and a lot of extra work. A lot of if extra you can't work. Just go to the gym, gym like a normal person two times a week, three times a week. No, no, you have to put in extra work. You literally have to make this a part of your daily routine. It just has to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can't wake up and say, Am I going to the gym today? It literally has to be, I'm going. You know, without even thinking, I'm going. <laughs> you know? Um, and you have to, a routine is also great to have. You know, make your schedule. I, I like to plan a week ahead. I don't know about you. Do you plan a week ahead, like yeah, um, appointments and stuff? Yeah. Okay. So I, I plan a week ahead. I'm always like, okay, this week I'm going to the gym in the morning. This day I'm going in the evening. I plan it around my other. I work my in main, the gym. Yeah, exactly. I'm here every day. Yeah. So I plan it around like my main activities. If I know I've got a deadline, I make sure I get my work done first. Then I go to the gym. Type of situation. So you have to make it work with you. You know. That's why I, sometimes I don't recommend trying to find a gym partner because a lot, I mean, I've trained by myself. I've just, since, since, exactly. Somebody. Since I've been here in Denmark, I've trained by myself. You know, I've never really had that, I need a gym partner type of mentality. I've always been like, I want to change my body and it's only me that can do it. So, you know, if someone wants to train with me, cool. That's great. I love training with people, but I'm not going to be like, okay, message my friend, are you going to the gym today? And he's like, no. And then I go, okay, he's not going, I'm not going. No. <laughs> Your ass in the gym. gym, you know what I mean? Just because your friend's busy doesn't mean that you can't go. And I think that's a lot of people have that problem as well. They're like, oh, my friend's not going, I can't go to the gym by myself. You don't want to. Just say it clearly and it's the truth. You're priorities. not willing, you're not, you're not, yeah, I say, thank you. Priorities, you're, you're not prioritizing your health. You know, even, it's not even the gym, your health. You know, exactly. I don't know about you, but me, when I go to the gym, I feel alive, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> as the moment I feel like an illness coming along, I'm like, gym, that's what I think, I think I have to go to the gym, increase my heart rate, sweat, and let the disease go away, you know, like, bro, exactly. leave me alone. <laughs> um, that's the thing, illnesses don't like heat, they don't like when you're moving your body around, so that's why I hardly get sick, what are you? No. Same, touch me, touch me, touch me. But yeah, sickness, I hardly get it, simply because I'm, I'm active all the time. Yeah. I don't have no time or space, my body, yeah, so that's it, my body, my body doesn't have time for being ill. It's just like, I can't get in, I just can't access the bodies. 
It's always go, go, go. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Yeah. Thank you so much for today. It was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Good As job. you can see, I'm still sweating, innit? I'm still sweating, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Definitely do this again. Next time we'll have more questions yeah. from your side. Um, probably do some weights, um, dumbbells and stuff like that to show you guys like the right form, how to do things. Um, that could be cool, you know, how to's. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's 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 it. See you guys. We out.